bit of check on the weather now. It's actually really nice out there it this is. morning. Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing from our weather watchers. Like, it's so fantastic. It's so comfortable yes, out there. Yes, nice and crisp, actually, it's this morning. Beautiful, yeah. But we do have changes, Caitlin, on the way. Okay. That's why we're in this early warning weather alert. We could see some strong to severe storms later on tonight. So, uh, yes, we are in another alert. I know we've had so many of these this summer. Uh, late afternoon into tonight, strong to severe storms. Specifically, we're looking at western Connecticut, central Connecticut as the main areas, but we could see them statewide. And our impacts, heavy rainfall, potential flooding concerns, frequent lightning, gusty wind, hail. We've got many different things on the table. Uh, but yeah, here's a look at our severe threat for today. So you can see that marginal, that level one risk uh, for eastern Connecticut, the greatest risk over here is highlighted in yellow. There's an even greater risk to the west of us. So as these storms push through, they're going to weaken a little. That's why you can see that coloring gets less and less. That level gets less and less as we head towards the east. So that early warning weather satellite radar right now, just picking up on a couple showers, pushing through areas of Pennsylvania, New York. Uh, we might see a couple showers this afternoon. That's possible. But for the most part, we will see a lot of sunshine. It's going to be a nice day, but the humidity is also going to tick up this afternoon too. But then it will be stormy tonight. We've got that flooding risk and pop-up storms for tomorrow morning are also possible, but definitely not as robust as what we're expecting to see through the overnight hours. I'm sure the beaches are going to be crowded today. That UV index will be an 8. We'll see a lot of sunshine temperatures in the 80s along the shoreline. Very average temperatures for this time of the year. The early warning pinpoint Doppler is getting everything dry out there. We're keeping a close eye on this, but meteorologist Jill Gilardi, she'll be keeping a close eye on this later this afternoon and evening as we do expect those storms. All right, our early warning weather future cast shows us. You can see a mix of sun and clouds this afternoon and then starting uh, maybe about 3 o'clock or so we could start to see some showers entering western Connecticut. Maybe a quick downpour, maybe an isolated thunderstorm much later around sunset. That's when we expect to see maybe some more robust activity. So you can see those reds, those yellows, those oranges. That's where the rain is really coming down. This continues through the overnight hours around 10, 11, maybe midnight. These storms might wake you up possibly if we do see enough thunder and lightning out there. And then this continues into tomorrow. So the air is also going to be really humid, really moist out there. Uh, and tomorrow morning, you can actually see this storm system still continuing through some areas of our state. So we might be busy tomorrow morning uh, tracking just a couple isolated storms. After this pushes through, we have clearer, drier air moving in, but the humidity will stick around for a lot of the morning and maybe into some of the afternoon as well. Uh, we could see maybe an isolated quick shower or storm, but other than that, we do stay dry for tomorrow afternoon and then into Monday. Monday morning is going to feel fantastic out there. It's going to be so nice, but then we have yet another threat for some thunderstorms and some showers heading into Tuesday morning. So Monday looks like a pretty dry day, though. New London, this is beautiful. Beautiful 75 degrees, blue skies out there. Lots of people lined up to take that ferry. Live look in Old Saybrook. We are seeing a very quiet weather out there right now. Temperatures are in the 60s, the 70s along the shoreline. It's feeling great with dew points still in the 50s, and that wind is continuing to be light, but this is going to pick up as we head towards this afternoon. So things will change, but for the day ahead today, you can see those clouds continuing to build through this afternoon. That chance of some thunderstorms, uh, maybe around 5, 6, 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Seven day forecast shows us temperatures tomorrow are going to be really hot and humid in the mid to upper 80s. Uh, so definitely a very summertime like feel. Once again, it will be uh, very humid out there Monday into Tuesday. That's when we're tracking another system with a warm front. Wednesday, Thursday, uh, those are such nice days on the seven day. Let's just draw a circle around those days to get outside. But then for Friday, temperatures in the mid 80s. It looks nice for the morning, but maybe the chance for some showers later in the evening will keep you posted, of course, especially as we head in towards the weekend. Kate.